Good afternoon, my favorite B-Day class of the day. Uh, sorry I can't be there in person today, but I've got an appointment. But I do want to explain what I want you to be doing today as you're reading. You're going to have about 25 minutes to read today. And while you're doing that, as I've been telling you the last couple of classes, I want you to use sticky notes, uh, paper, or other ways of recording your thoughts. And I want to give you some examples of that today. So... We're going to talk about how you can record your thinking while you are working today. Now, first of all, keep in mind that what we're doing is we're working toward building a scrapbook, and that'll be in a couple of weeks. This is an example of what one scrapbook page might look like. Yours does not have to look like this, but it might. Here's one that compares two different books, Salva from A Long Walk to Water, which is just an example I'm using because you're familiar with it and a book called Angelfish, the main character, Robin. Now, as I was collecting notes, I noticed some similarities after a while. I noticed that both Salva and Robin relied on a lot of determination to get where they needed to go in their book. So on this side of the page, as you can see, uh, this represents Salva, and the, the right side represents Robin. There are a few things. First of all, there's a theme at the top. You're going to need to identify four themes in your book, not today, but as a result of doing all of your reading. But here's a theme of determination. I have text passages, which are in pink and in orange. There's an artifact, which you can find later. There is an explanation of the quote and the artifact and why it's important. And then the little silver thing at the bottom represents mirror. And this is where we're making a personal connection to this particular thing. Once again, this is a couple of weeks away. This is not what I'm asking you to do today. I just wanted to show you the end result so that you know what we're working towards. Now, here's what I need you to be doing today. I need you to be marking down your thinking on sticky notes. You can put down ideas or thoughts, or you can just be marking down quotes. Here are six or seven quotes that I pulled from A Long Walk to Water. Now, if you don't want to use sticky notes, that's okay. Use a full sheet of paper and write whatever the book is that you're reading at the top. And then you can just put the comments as you go. But whether you use sticky notes or notebook paper, be sure to record the page numbers. For example, I, I thought this was a powerful line here where Salva said, if my family is here, I will find them. I didn't know, you know, I, it, it just hit me as being a powerful quote. So I jotted it down. Now, as I jotted a bunch of them down, I started to notice a pattern, and that was determination. But all I did, you know, all you need to do for the first day is just start recording or recording your thinking on paper, whether on sticky notes or whatever. Secondly, if you are going to be turning in a book today, first of all, you need to, uh, there's a sign out log, since I'm not here, then I'm going to have you record the book number and give it directly to the guest teacher. Also, before you turn it in, take all of your sticky notes, make sure the page numbers is on each one, put the title of the book that the sticky notes came from, and stick that on a sheet of paper, and then stick it in your binder. That way, all of your notes for that book are on one page. Now, I want to also show you that your thinking doesn't have to be just sticky notes. I want you to be creative today, and I'm, but the goal is I want you to write a lot of stuff down as you're reading. So um, this is how, uh, if you're reading your second book, this is where you might start making some connections. So here's an example of determination quotes that I found from book one and book two. This is simply one way to record your thinking. And notice, I wrote down the quote and the page number on a sticky note. I sketched out a broom, which was an artifact for Robin in a long, in a, angelfish. And then I have my explanation of this artifact and why it's important in that scene. <clears throat> Let me skip ahead here. Now, here's another way that I recorded some thinking. I felt like sketching or doodling something. Now, as I was looking at, uh, this is from another book, a book called Butterfly that I'm reading about a Syrian swimmer who uh, flees the war in Syria and has to travel to Germany and end up, ends up being a, uh, an Olympic medalist. 
But since the book Butterfly and A Long Walk to Water both feature water, I drew a faucet. And the streams of water coming out are different quotes from the two different stories. I put the quotes from A Long Walk to Water in blue and from the book Butterfly in red. So if you're a visual person, if you're an art person, you can represent what you're thinking that way on your page today. Also, I don't know that I'm ever gonna use this, but it was just an idea that I had. I said, Salva's happiness seems to go up and down. So I made a little meter like a gas gauge to show um, Salva's emotions, whether positive or negative. And at the beginning of the story, when he was in school, it, you know, I indicated that he was fairly happy. But when he went to the desert and into the Nile and so on, things got much worse. This was just me recording my thinking visually. Here's some writing I did last year from the book, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. I noticed that the main character, William Kimkwamba, his, uh, he's, he has an engineer's mind. So he's always planning on how to build something. So I put a bunch of gears to represent his mind. That could be my artifact. And then I found passages that show him being really resourceful with his mind. There's a blow up of some of that. These are just quotes from the story. Okay, just a few more. A long walk to water. I was thinking Salva's walking everywhere. So I used the image of footprints. It kind of got me thinking. What if I used footprints and then made them a little bigger, like the one you see on the left, and I put a quote inside each footprint, and my pages could be a map showing the path that Salva took to, uh, to, you know, throughout the story. So that was another idea. Once again, these are just ideas for things you can do today to record your thinking, rather than just staring at your book and saying, I don't know what I'm supposed to write. Okay, so keep a pencil in your hand, keep some sticky notes handy, a sheet of paper handy as you read, because you're going to have 25 minutes to read and record your thinking. Okay, now, finally, if you are an organizer type person, I'm not, but some people are. If you like printed organizers, I have three different ones on the desk. You can come up and get one uh, and see if it helps you. This one simply gives you a place to put a quote an explanation of that quote, an artifact that might tie in with that quote, and a theme. Okay, see if that helps you. Here's the second one that has spaces for you to put your sticky notes. So if you like an organizer, you can come up and get one off the desk as you work today. Okay, but ultimately, folks, what I want you to be doing is I want you to be thinking while you're reading today. Okay, so do your best, and I'll check in with you next class. If you have any questions, let me know. And other than that, go ahead and get started reading quietly now. You've got the next 25 minutes to read and have a great afternoon.